Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book haul. Today we have a rather small one and the very first thing I want to talk about is some self-promo awesome. Maiden is available in paperback and ebook. It's also up for free on, well, it's free to, uh, so it's called a read now on NetGalley. All you got to do is go click it, um, get a copy and review it. But this is the book that I wrote with T.C. Parker. I'm very, very proud of it. We both are. Um, we're planning a live stream sometime soon. I was in the hospital. It got delayed, but we're going to be planning it uh, sometime soon. We're going to be discussing who wrote what, uh, who's responsible for the most uh, upsetting scenes. Um, so if, if you want to grab the book and read it before we do that, like I said, it is available as a read now on NetGalley, or you can support us by buying the ebook or reading it on Kindle Unlimited for free, um, or buying the paperback. We'd appreciate you. Anywho, on with the rest of the book haul. Uh, I got this one. I've already reviewed it. I believe it's already up on the channel. I got Samantha Kolznick's new one, Waif, which was exceptional. Um, uh, this is this will this is out December first for everyone else. I pre-ordered it. Then something happened, and they uh, Grindhouse Press had to ship all of the pre-orders early. So I was lucky enough to get an extremely early copy. Uh, next up, we have a book that. I tried to read an ebook. I think I got the uh, an advanced review copy. I can't really remember, um, but I ended up not finishing it uh, because I think because solely it was an ebook, and I just don't enjoy the experience. And I'm the exact opposite of most people. Most people like to read longer books on ebooks uh, in in digital format because they don't want to be you know lugging around um, you know a thicker book. But uh, I tend to go for the shorter books because I simply forget that I'm supposed to be reading on my Kindle or actually I read on my phone. Um, and uh, like I said, I just don't enjoy the experience and I always forget. But uh, this one is The Town That Forgot How to Breathe by Kenneth J. Harvey. I remember uh, this, was on my, uh, this was on my TBR because I believe Keelan Patrick Burke loved it. Um, it is a chunk of a novel. It's 471 pages. Uh, I absolutely love the cover, even though dolls creep me the hell out. But uh, I love the cover, and the, the premise behind it is interesting. Um, I'm not going to read it, read the whole description, but it says, Something strange is happening in the seaside town of Bearmead. Mythical creatures are being pulled from the sea. Perfectly preserved corpses of long-lost villagers are washing up on the shore, and residents of the town are suddenly overcome by a mysterious illness that is making them forget how to breathe. Um, so I'll probably be getting to this one uh, in January. I already, I've already done my end-of-the-year TBR. I have all the books I'm going to read. Um, also, uh, if you're interested, I have a Best of 2021 coming. It'll be up in December. I don't think any of the books that I'm reading now will end up on that list, but they could because I just had to put Waif on there. Um, so who knows, but it'll be early December when I get to that. Anyways, on to the next one. Next one I got for free uh, for review from the publisher. Rio Ewers uh, reached out to me and asked if I wanted a review copy of his newest book. I said, hell yes. I have yet to read a bad Rio Ewers book. This is No Second Chances by Rio Ewers, like I just said. Uh, this one is uh, about, it says, Luke Kingsley's glory days are behind him. He was once a star on the rise, but his life and career imploded after his soul singer wife, Lisa Hayes, disappeared without a trace, silencing a very public and tumultuous marriage. Most people, especially in an, event, an avenging P.I., think Luke got away with murder. The last thing he expects is to be pulled back from the brink by a starstruck stranger. Okay, so it, I'm not going to read any more of the description. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and go into this as blind as possible. Um, I, I absolutely love Rio Ewers, um, especially his thrillers. The man writes like a madman. 
Um, he just, it, I, don't know, I don't know what it is about his prose, but it, it sings and it just absolutely flies. Um, like I said of Lola on Fire, the last one that I got for review, um, it, that Joker had rockets for shoes. The pacing was off the charts and I love the characters also. Alright, last but certainly not least is a book that I always look forward to new books by this author. Um, he's another one that I haven't read a single bad book from him and that's Colson Whitehead. And this is The Harlem Shuffle. Or, yeah, just Harlem Shuffle, not The Harlem Shuffle. And I love the cover of this one. It is very, very pretty. I have no idea what this is about. Um, I'm, I'm going to, I'm not even going to read you, not even an excerpt of the synopsis or blurb or whatever you want to call it, the cover copy. Uh, so those are the books that I am looking forward to reading. What I am currently reading right now is Richard Thomas's collection, Spontaneous Human Combustion. Absolutely fantastic. It is on, uh, it is on track to be, uh, one of my top three favorite short story collections, um, behind... Clyde Barker's Books of Blood, all of them, uh, up at number one. And at number two, uh, it would be Mariana Enriquez's uh, Things We Lost in the Fire. Uh, what else am I reading? I am reading Lisa Jewell's The Night She Disappeared, and it is going pretty well. Um, the There's a lot of hopping around through time, and it gets a bit disjointed at times, and I forget who I'm reading about, but otherwise I'm enjoying it. Um, let's see here. Uh, I am also reading uh, Lovecraft Country, which I am enjoying immensely. Um, I like that it's in a mosaic novel and it's not all one storyline. It's a bunch of different like novelettes and novellas uh, that, that are interconnected, kind of like a cloud atlas kind of thing. Um, but there's also, what else am I reading? There's one more thing that I'm reading. Oh yeah, uh, Beneath the Stairs by Jennifer Fawcett, which is an ARC for a book that's coming out February 22nd. Uh, Atria was nice enough to send me an uh, advanced review copy of that one, so I'll be getting to that one. I'll be getting the review to that one probably up next week. Me and Shell are reading it, and once we finish that one, we're going to start Ghoster by Jason Arnop. Um, but that's my haul, and that's what I'm currently reading. Uh, if you'd like to let me know uh, your book hauls down there in the doobly-doo or what you're currently reading, please do. Uh, do not link to your own videos because YouTube will hide them. Uh, I, get, I get a lot of things like 18, uh, 18xxx.com uh, comments for some odd reason, so I've blocked links. Um, but uh, if you want to, type out your, your list down there or link me to your video on Twitter. All that stuff, in my Twitter, all that stuff is down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book haul. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.